I am Dr. V. Mohan and today I am going to tell you a very interesting story. We all know that diabetes can come at any age. But you know what's the bad news? The younger you get diabetes, it's more likely to be the more severe form of diabetes, what we call as type 1 diabetes. In adults, it's fine. If you get diabetes, you can control it with diet, exercise, yoga, medicines, tablets, and you're fine. But if you get it as a child or as a teenager, it's likely that you have type 1 diabetes. And in type 1 diabetes, there's no insulin at all in the body. So what happens? You have to take three, four injections lifelong. So I had this young girl, 16-year-old, very pretty girl. She was suddenly diagnosed to have diabetes when she had some symptoms like excessive thirst, just passing more urine. Her sugar was tested, found to be 350 milligrams, went to a doctor who saw her, a physician, and said, you have type 1 diabetes, you better take four injections a day or else you'll die. The family was devastated. They started thinking about her marriage and how who will marry her, can she have children, so many thoughts. So they're all crying, father, mother, they all came to see me for a second opinion. In fact, many children with type 1 diabetes come and then we do all the tests and say, well, we're sorry, this is type 1 diabetes, but don't worry, we can help the child to live a long and healthy life. But something about this young girl struck me as being funny. The first thing we do when they come to our center, we apply the principle of precision diabetes. We go very deep into the history, into the tests. We don't just look at a patient and some blood sugar and then start prescribing. This is what we do at Dr. Mohan's, precision diabetes. So what we did was, first thing I did was I took a pencil and paper and started drawing the family history. When I drew the family history chart, I found a mother had diabetes, a grandfather had diabetes, a great grandmother had diabetes, three, four generations. It's very unusual for type 1. So I said, hey, something is happening here. Then we, the first thing we do is we measure how much insulin is there in the body. In people with type 1 diabetes, it will be zero, no insulin. Here I checked it and this girl is having quite a bit of insulin. Then there are two specific tests to see whether it's type 1 diabetes, what's called as GAD antibody test and zinc transporter test. So I ordered both, both came negative. So I told the parents, you know what, I have my own doubts whether this is type 1 diabetes, okay. I'm going to go to the next test, which is a genetic test. There is a form of diabetes called as MODY, and MODY stands for M-O-D-Y, or Maturity Onset Diabetes of the Young. So we ordered the genetic test, and why MODY and why look for it? Because if they have one of this MODY, and MODY itself is of several types, but they all respond to tablets. So we looked for the genetic test and lo and behold, she did not have type 1 diabetes. She had monogenic diabetes, which is called as MODY or maturity onset diabetes of the young. Now, the beauty of MODY is that it responds to the cheapest tablet that you can give, the sulfonylurea agent, and insulin is not needed. So once we did that, we stopped the insulin, started her on tablets, and she responded beautifully to the tablets. By this time, her younger sister also developed diabetes. Quickly, we tested her also for Modi, and she also had Modi. Then we tested her mother, she also had Modi. The grandfather also had Modi, as did her great-grandmother. Everybody in the family who had diabetes had Modi. So all of them could be treated with tablets. This is the magic of precision diabetes. Here is a child who was told that four times a day, this poor girl had to take insulin all her life or else she would die. And then we do the necessary tests, use the principles of precision diabetes, and then prove that she does not have type 1 diabetes, that she has another form of diabetes. Viewers, how many types of diabetes do you think there are? Just take a guess. Two, three, actually turns out that there are 40 types of diabetes. Very often people ask me, you just treat one disease, you don't get bored? No, I don't. And the reason is, I've got 40 different types to diagnose. And what makes my life interesting is that, like this young girl, I'm able to take her off insulin, and this is not an isolated case. There have been hundreds of cases. So the next time you hear of somebody who has had young onset diabetes, 
let's ask the question is it really type 1 diabetes or is there any other form of diabetes that they can have and once we find the right diagnosis for the patient then we can offer the precise treatment for that type of diabetes. I will talk to you more about these forms of diabetes and other secrets that I have learnt and other success stories in subsequent videos so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.